This is an astrolabe. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And so this astrolabe is on loan from us from the Oxford School of uh, Museum of History. And uh, you can see the different components. This is the mater, the scales on the back. This is the reet, okay, do you see that? That's the movable part of the, of the sky. And in the back you can see like a spider web pattern. And that spider web pattern corresponds to the local coordinates in the sky. This is a rule device and on the back are some other devices, measuring tools, and uh, scales to be able to make some calculations, okay? You know, I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> I, 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 for my thesis, I, I actually built one of these out, out of paper. Um, and uh, this one, this is a, a replica from a 15th century uh, device, and uh, it's worth probably about three MacBook Pros, but a real one uh, would cost about as much as my house and the house next to it, and actually every house on the block, on both sides of the street, maybe a school thrown in and some, you know, a church, they're just incredibly expensive. But, but let me show you how to work this device. So let's go to, uh, to step one. First thing that you do is you select a star in the night sky if you're telling time at night. So tonight, uh, if it's clear, you'll be able to see the summer triangle, and there's a bright star it's called Deneb. So let's select Deneb. Second is you measure the altitude of Deneb. So step two, I hold the device up, and then I sight its altitude there, so I can see it clearly now. And then I measure its altitude, so it's about 26 degrees. You can't see it from over there. Step three is to identify the star on the front of the device. Deneb is there, I can tell. Step four is I then move the reet, move the sky, so the altitude of the star corresponds to the scale on the back. Okay, so, uh, so when that happens, everything lines up. I have here a model of the sky that corresponds to the real sky. Okay, so it is, in a sense, holding a model of the universe in my hands. And then finally, I take a rule and move the rule to a date line, which then tells me the time here. <laughs>